Hello everyone. It's our second blog and I'm really pleased to say there's going to be a lot less of me and a lot more of you because you've been sending in such fantastic work. So without further ado, let's make a start. We've had some brilliant learning in from Dylan in preschool. He's done a lovely picture and Albie in nursery has made a musical instrument. I made a shaking drum. we've got Adam's fantastic solar system and Paige has been in her garden and doing her learning there. Amaya in reception has also been working hard. She's been practicing her writing in flower. Coming up, Fantastic model from Jackson in year two of the Great Fire of London and some pictures of you guys in year two making your teacher very, very hungry looking at your delicious crispy cakes. Big shout outs to these children. We've got a shout out for Ben and Eloise who have been working really, really hard and to Kit, Edie, Holly K, Elsie, Freddie, Amy, Orla, Dylan C, Dylan G, Callie, Joseph and Connor. Keep it up guys, that's amazing. Also in year two, we've had some more fabulous work. We've had Georgie's Rice Krispie Cakes. We've had Harry's wonderful maths learning on shape. And we've also had Layla and Junior sending us in some great Fire of London work. Well done, guys. Harry in year two has recently joined Beavers and he very proudly wore his Beavers uniform whilst clapping for the NHS in order to celebrate St George's Day. Year three have asked for a big shout out to go to Holly for a work on volcanoes, Sirkan, who has made some really great work in maths and art, and Noah, whose artwork is amazing, and Brendan, who's made some soil and has been planting basil in his garden. Callie in year three has also made an amazing volcano. Have a look at this. In year five, Abigail made a maze for her tortoise and Adelaide made one for her dog, but I don't think Spider would have coped very well with it at all. Bobby Gudgeon in year five has done some brilliant learning on the Anglo-Saxons. Year six have been learning about World War II and these children have made some really great efforts learning about Anne Frank and the Anderson shelters. Their work's amazing. It's Finley, Luca and Gail. Now I've no idea what Ruby's been getting up to during lockdown, but she has been enjoying time with her family. Zachary in reception has been really busy. He's been baking and doing his learning, but most of all, I really like these photos that were sent in of him enjoying the outdoors. Isla's also been outside, thankfully, because she's been doing some lovely painting. Last week, Miss Wisto, Mrs Incredible, set you the challenge of making a very strong cup of tea from a social distance. Amy in year five had a go, and so did Dylan C, Dylan G, and Scarlett. I've sped up the videos.
Last week, I challenged you to see how many pairs of socks you could get on your feet in two minutes. Vinnie Godden and Sophie in year two both managed 11 pairs, only managed five. Look at the size of his feet. This week's challenge comes from Mr Woodhouse. It's really tricky. Hello everyone. Quick challenge for you to do at home during this lockdown. Get a pen. Use your thumb and forefinger to put near the front of it and push it around with your middle finger. It looks pretty cool and it's very easy. Enjoy. We are extremely proud of Amaya and Orla who gathered up all their Easter eggs and donated them to the NHS. Look at this picture. Thankfully, some of you sent some jokes in, so you're saved from mine. Zach asked, how do hairdressers make sure they're always on time? They know the shortcuts. And Lois, his sister, sent in, what did the spider say when he asked for a high five? Don't leave me hanging. Jax sent himself telling the joke. What do you call cheese then? Isn't yours natural cheese? In year one, we had a nice picture in of Franco who's made some lovely looking cakes. We've had Oscar doing his read, write, ink and being very studious. We've had Jackson's gorgeous flapjacks that made me very jealous. And Aniel did a beautiful drawing for St George's Day. And his teacher has asked for a particular shout out for Aniel for doing some excellent learning. Isla, in year one, has sent some lovely pictures of her doing some things in the garden and also riding her bike. And finally, in year one, we've had this lovely photo of Maya with her worry monster. Mrs Murray has asked me to give a big shout out to Tommy Brown because he's been doing some fantastic work and also a big shout out from Mr Woodhouse to Frasier who's been working really, really hard. Well done boys. We've had such a great effort from year five. We're so proud of you. So here goes. So far we've had Aidan's brilliant Mexican devil mask. We've had Lily B's butterfly puddle and kite. We've had Ronan's dinosaur. Millie, Jude, Joshua and Lily B, Anaya, Jack and Jessica have all made brilliant solar system models and mazes have come in from Jude and Lily and of course there's Anaya's kite. Now year five have not just stuck to the learning that they've been set, they've been doing some extra fun tasks as well. So we've got Jack's cooking task here, Jessica and Samuel and Amy all made some pavement art for the NHS, which was really nice. We've got Callum's delicious looking sandwich, Aidan's winter vegetable soup, that looks yummy, and Jessica's slave mask about a book that she'd read. Laura and Aniel have been making a lovely cake from year four and going on their scooters. And Jessica T has been comparing characters and has sent in some really nice learning. And also Sana has done some RE learning, which is really lovely. Mr Wright and Miss Fletcher were really thrilled to receive these lovely pictures. Thanks everyone, what a lovely idea.
It's time for birthday shout outs. Okay, if you've had a birthday or you're going to have a birthday by the end of this week, this is for you. Happy birthday, Sir Hat, in year four. Happy birthday, Jude, in year five. Happy birthday, Rosie Lee, in year one. Happy birthday, Max, in year two. Happy birthday, Harry, in year three. Happy birthday, Jessica, in year six. Happy birthday, Nate, in year four. Happy birthday, Memphis Ray, in nursery. And happy birthday, Zainab, in year five. Happy birthday! Thank you so much for everything you've sent in to us and we're really pleased that you're all doing just fine at home. Make sure you keep those bits of learning coming into your teachers and making sure that you're logging on to Purple Mash if that's what you're using or working on your paper copies. You can always screenshot those and send them in. Keep going on your TT Rockstars and just remember to keep safe and keep well and do as we're all told and stay inside. We're so looking forward to seeing you when you come back to school, but we have no idea when that is. So for now, stay safe. Bye.